Hello, welcome to the third and hopefully final DJI Neo battery test video. As you can see, I've removed all the gubbins from the drone this time. No gimbal guards or any of that stuff. The only thing I've left on is the ND filter, which I think most people probably would and should use. There's a new video coming on that shortly. I've changed some of the settings to be a bit more optimum so that we can drain as much as possible from these little Neo batteries. So let's get into it and have a look. First thing we'll do is to change the camera settings by tapping on where it says 4K30 at the bottom of the screen. This opens up the camera settings and we'll adjust the recording quality from 4K 30 frames per second down to 1080p 30 fps. Everything else we'll leave on auto, white balance, aperture etc. As always, I'll check the gain and expo settings that each mode has the maximum speed set, cine, normal and sport, which they already have. So we're good to bash on with the test. Okay, so as always, we'll do a test in each mode, cine, normal and sport. Cine first. We will take off, fly until the drone comes in to do a forced landing and during each flight we'll make sure that the drone itself is also recording so that we get a kind of best case scenario of what sort of battery life you can expect when using the Neo and recording in this mode with 1080p 30. So I'll speed this up as per and save you watching all the boring figure of eights and we'll come back when it comes into land. That's now the drone coming in for the forced landing. Once it touches down, the timer stops and we'll see what time we get. So 15 minutes 20, which isn't too bad actually. Um, so let's try normal mode. So we come in on normal mode uh, for the forced landing, coming in a bit hot on this one. And as we touch down, 14 minutes 17, which again, not too bad. So let's crack on and get into sports mode. <laughs> So as we come into land in sports mode, we get this message telling us the area under the aircraft is unsuitable for landing. No idea why, it's flat concrete, but anyhow, we touch down at 13 minutes 21, which on the face of it may look <laughs> However, that's over 3 minutes better than with all the gubbins attached. So let's check out the results. Right, what have we got? Cine mode, 15 minutes 20. Normal mode 14 minutes 17 and sport mode 13 21. Just as an aside, let's have a comparison between this, which is recorded in 1080p 30fps with no attachments, no gimbal guards, etc., versus the previous video where we had recording in 4K 30 and all the attachments, all the gimbal guards. So let's have a look at those uh, results in comparison to these. So we've got 1080p 30fps, no attachment, cine mode 15 minutes 20 versus 11 minutes 36 with a 4K 30 plus attachments. In normal mode we've got 14.17 in 1080p versus 10 minutes 36 in 4K 30. And then in sports mode 
13 minutes 21 in 1080p against 1017 and 4K 30. So a fair difference, uh, three plus minutes in those modes there. Um, it's up to you, depending on what you want to do. Do you want to remove the attachments if you're not going to be flying through tight spaces and there's no risk of crashing? And what means more to you? The protection of your drone or flight time? Um, it looks like you can't have both, unfortunately. Just quickly, before I wrap up, I just wanted to show you this handy little case I found on eBay. It's not for the Neo, but it fits it perfectly, along with your batteries, and I've also got some ND filters in there. I don't get anything from this, but if you fancy one, drop me a comment, and I will send you the link. It's only £3.94 of your Great British pence. Cheers, thanks for watching.